r sin theta cod r cos theta gunau bhavetam take an arc 5 multiply with n times 5 raised to n multiply again once with that one 5 raised to n plus 1 multiply with the factorial of the radius to that one then divide by factorial of the radius 1 2 3 4 etc continuously repeat it with even number and odd number keep the even number value separately odd number value separately subtract the higher values from the lower values finally you will be getting the value subtract that value from the value of the arc you will be getting r sin theta subtract that value from the radius you will be getting cos theta is it okay i am sure that you could not follow that so so many theorems who has discovered the value of pi everybody i don't know whether you know that Everyone say Lambert has discovered the value of pi. In 1628, Lambert has discovered what Arya but I has told. Chaduratigam Sadamashtagunam Dwasashtistada Sahasrana 100 plus 4 into 8 plus 62,000. What will be the value? 100 plus 404 into 8, 832 plus 62,000. Dvashastistada sahasrana 62,832 This is the nearest value of the circumference of a circle having diameter ayutat dvayam ayutam is 10,000 ayutat dvayam is 20,000 If the diameter of the circle is 20,000 its circumference is approximately as and no approximately 62,832 after going from here, you just divide 62,832 divided by 20,000. You will be getting the value of pi. If you want to get the value of but, kamat, shenai, that also you will get. Put only pi, others also. So, you can see that the value of pi, some people could not understand. In Kerala, one group is there. Sir, Lakshmana pi, Damodara pi, and so on. So, we have got Lakshmana shenai, Lakshmana bhat, and so on. So the value of pi, 3.4, etc., etc., is exactly given by Aryabhata in the fourth chapter, 21st line, and that he has given 499 AD, March 21st Sunday. Date is available. We are not creating any date because unless you know that chrono sensitivity of Indians is very difficult. So so beautifully they have given. Paridehe Shadbhagajya Vishkambhadhena Satulya A circle is there. Make six equal arc from that. The code of the arc, one six of the arc, is equal to the radius of the circle. Do you know that here? Eighth standard, ninth standard we have learned. And the radian values, Pateshwara has given. One small incident took place in Trivandrum. Marivanyo's college is there. And their mathematics professors have to MSc. Mathematics is there. Two professors who teach MSc mathematics students, they came to my home and said, We want to do the mathematics PhD in mathematics heritage of India. And you suggest one book. I said, You do the work in Vadeshwara Siddhanta, a book written during 880. The book is available by from Indian National Science Academy. New Delhi 2. You will also get Indian National Science Academy. New Delhi 2, if you are writing, they will send you the catalog. All the books you can purchase from there. It's not costly, very cheap. But I swear, I told him, the professor, you can keep this book for 30 days. After that, you have to return the book. Whether you are doing PhD or not doing PhD. Because, Nari Ittam Pustakam Yadahaste Yadam a lady had the money and the pustagam is gone to somebody's hand, it will never come back, it will be there. So, exactly on 30th day, he brought Dr. Robert and Bhattadri, two people, mathematics professors, they brought back the book and said, Sir, if you are doing our PhD in Mateshwara Siddhanta, after 10 years also we will not get PhD, because we are not understanding anything, even the English translation. 
even the english translation they are not understanding i am not belittling them but if you read vadeshwara siddhanta even msc mathematics students it is impossible for them to understand within one reading you may need 10 or 12 reading that is the depth of knowledge but remember for understanding vadeshwara siddhanta you need buddha sangya if you don't have buddha sangya you cannot read that at all the first chapter itself close the chapter and like that paraham hiras panja siddhandika every layer buddha sangya is given unless you remember that it is just like telling that you multiply with vibhishana and add sri rama how you will do that because vibhishana means y is 4 bhai is 4 shai is 8 no is not you multiply with 844 for which what they say multiply with vibhishana add rama with that add 3 with that so if you don't know add 3 rama with that then how can i bring rama here for adding this can <laughs> so this bhuta sangya and kadavayadi number system mixed together always and also sanskrit number system so as per the topic of today for the students if they are learning it teaching it propagating it first thing required these two number system they have to learn and the theorems etc spread the message so marvelous knowledge existed in india <laughs> then if you are not interested in that other things are available who has discovered gravity you all know sir isaac newton till the apple fallen on his head the question of gravity <laughs> only after that gravity started and whereas you can see bhaskar acharya too has written a book siddham the shiromani completed during 1148 ad that book was written completed the sixth chapter 21st line gives you akrishti ಶಕ್ತಿಸ್ಟಿಯಲ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ yet akrishyate whichever is getting attracted tat patati that falls down same samanda ko patatya yam ghe celestial bodies are getting attracted among themselves so that they are not falling anywhere same samanda with equal force same samanda ayam ghe these celestial bodies <coughs> attracted ko patati where to fall down they will not fall anywhere they are repeating because they are getting attracted among themselves so akrishti shakti or gurutvakarshana discovered by bhaskar acharya very fortunately americans and english people and germans know that very fortunately we do not know that <laughs> now they are slowly changing it that light so variety of knowledge existed in india these are all real indian scientific heritage in the mathematics i have not gone deep into it if any question comes from your side definitely i quote equal and sanskrit back if you have got time just like that our metallurgical heritage i am not sticking to one point alone metallurgical heritage just one line you might not have heard about reso upanishad reso upanishad one book is the written during 12th century ad 16th chapter is vanga samshodhana adhyayam processing of tin metal fully tin metallurgy vanga samshodhana adhyayam it gives you the method for preparing 23 tin based alloy having different colors purple green yellow and so on all the 23 alloys america patented last year <laughs> literally i am telling you all the 23 alloys americans patented it and they are used as artificial 